Where was my mind? I was really, really excited about sharing my gift with the world. I was very naive and green when it came to what that meant. Um, I was honest, and that is what I've continued to carry with me, being honest, you know, in every, any kind of way. Yeah. I was on promotional tour for my first album, Faith, and I did a lot of promo dates with D'Angelo at the time, actually. And she actually was around quite a bit. I think they were, you know, working together or under the same production company, something, because I used to see her quite a bit on the road, you know, maybe, you know, working with D'Angelo. But I remember having this big boom box that I carried from city to city, and I definitely got the CD, and I bumped it, like, over and over. I think on and on, probably, I... You know, couldn't get, you know, you get to that certain song and you keep playing them and it's like, come on, let's get through the rest of the album. <laughs> sure. I just remember it was, uh, you know, something like you never heard before. I just remember thinking, ooh, who is that? You know, it was that kind of moment. Uh, 20 years ago I was trying to make music, I was trying to be an artist and I had a part-time job as a journalist too. So she was one of the artists and one of the people that kind of kept me pushing and believing in myself and you know, and encouraged me to go for myself and my goals. So yeah, it's, all, it's pretty awesome that I know her, I call her there? a sister, we talk, you know, it's, I see. it's weird now. But it's wonderful, you know, it's a real thing, yeah. Twenty years ago, I was graduating high school. Yes, I was graduating high school, and when I first heard Erica's song, it was on and on. I was actually a choreographer at the time, as a tap dancer, and I was choreographing to her song. So that's amazing to actually, hey, how are you? To um, to see her in person, to have had conversations with her, and to you know be acknowledged. Uh, she's an amazing woman, a solid artist in all aspects of art and expression, and a very intellectual woman. So I'm inspired, and I congratulate you, Erica. We celebrate you. Much respect and continued success. Oh my gosh, we're always sending our love and positivity and light towards her. We know she's gonna win and she deserves it, you know? Ev she works so hard. Every bit of glory that's coming towards her for this beautiful body of work she created is well deserved, you know? Um, it's, uh, it's amazing, uh, it's something you gotta see. It's um, it's called White Man. It's it's kind of uh, addressing a lot of things that are going on in the world today, politically wise. and and race-wise, and but it's a dance video because I think there's a lot of talking. Hi. Hey, hey, they. And and so it's it's all told through dance. It's it's gorgeous. I think that. As an artist, I am automatically a revolutionary of some sorts because just about everything we do as artists is a political statement as long as it's honest and current, you know. Um, our truth is, is very relevant as artists and the climate kind of moves as we move as a result of us moving, as a result of us creating and continuing to create through whatever happens you know in the atmosphere yeah absolutely yeah uh no <laughs> no no yes you're welcome